Hey friends, Jessica here with Creators Couture and I'm super excited to share with you another free Photoshop Brush Monday. And yet again, I implore you to ignore the fact that it's Tuesday. Um, I'm still referring to it as Free Brush Monday, so we are continuing as such. Anyway, um, this, br this week's brush is inspired by Raffia. And actually, it came about because I got an email from a community member named Michelle. And um, Michelle wanted to replicate the look of raffia as seen here on the left hand side of the screen. Um, it's often used in African traditional wedding dresses and I thought it was so beautiful. And I was like, well, why not? Challenge accepted. So the free Photoshop brushes this week are, I have two brushes and I would love to see which one you like the best. So. Um, here on your screen, you can see brush number one and brush number two. Brush number one is a little softer and feathy, more feathery. And brush number three can really get that kind of a, a stronger look. So um, just in general, I would love to know which one you prefer so you can put down in the comments one or two. And yeah, so I did a little um, reverse Google and I found the... Um, the Instagram, so this was Gabonese Weddings, and this is the sample dress, and very beautiful, so I've got it enlarged here. And this um, is something that's just right up my, my, my alley because I love getting inspired by fashion and then translating it for, you know, not just fashion illustrators, but also for people who are doing surface pattern designs, um, card designs, whatever. We can take these motifs and these ideas and you know, translate it, and it doesn't have to be a literal representation or you don't have to be illustrating fashion to get some inspiration from that. And some other collections that I've done that with was just most recently the Tool and Organza Couture, which was inspired by Gian Battista Valli. And then I had um, some textile and fiber couture Photoshop brushes, color blending. And that was inspired by the Guope Couture, which you can see right here. And I really like how, I, how, how the brushes turned out and I really was able to replicate that kind of texture. So I really love that challenge of replicating texture within a single Photoshop brush without having to do um, a lot of work. And this, these brushes use my pattern stamp technique, my color blending pattern stamp technique, which has been featured on Adobe. I'll have a link below if you're not familiar with it. And so I have two brushes for you this week. Um, we go over here and we're gonna grab our pattern stamp tool. And then you can load up those two ABR brushes. I've got them right here, Raffia 1, Raffia 2. And in addition to that, I have five color palettes that I created um, sampling some colors from this image. So I thought that was really fun. So I'm gonna grab my, one of my color palettes here. So just a reminder, we have pattern stamp tool. We're grabbing one of the color palettes and we have impressionist, but not a line checked. And so this is Raffia brush number one. And now notice that there is actually a little pressure sensitivity. So if I'm going light, you get a real um, uh, kind of a transparency. And then if you push down, you can really see the texture come out. And that's in that color palette. I'll just use another one just so you can see. So that is Raffia brush number one. And then let's go over to brush number two. Let's here, I edit. Um, let's just turn that off. And then here's brush number two. This one, I'm, I'm, if I'm going for directly the one that looks the most like it, I think brush number two. But I think you can have a lot of fun with either brush. So let's just grab another color palette here. And if you do lighter, the blending is softer. So you can see those little stippling effect, but it's softer. But if I push down harder, then you can see it's really dramatic. And personally, I kind of like something in the middle. And I think that you can really feel that raffia that you see over here on that. And it's a single brush stroke. And um, don't forget that, of course, I give you these color palettes, but all of my pattern stamp brushes, all of my impressionist brushes, all the color palettes can all mix together. So you can grab a brush from one collection, a color palette from another collection, and so on and so forth. So mix and match them. Um, 
And don't forget, you know, you can always make your own color palettes. You can sample directly from your images. All you have to do is grab a marquee tool. I'm going to drag this over here on the left over this raffia area. And then I'm going to go to edit define pattern. I'm going to click OK and I go grab my brush and I'm going to grab this picture that I just made as a pattern. And there you go. We're sampling directly from that image. So don't uh, think you just have to use my color palettes. You can create your own. And what else? Another thing I was kind of just having a play with this and it reminded me because it's kind of got that tribal, you know, African, very nature inspired kind of look. I was remembering back to my, um, my citrus collection. And now sometimes I think brushes kind of get buried in my collections. Um, cause I created the citrus theme, uh, creative kit, but in fact, the brushes that I created for these, um, these texture impressionist brushes that you see here are actually very good for a lot of different things. So um, sometimes I, I think I might need to rebrand that so that those brushes don't get lost. But these brushes, in fact, I think will would look really good because you see you have that kind of um, fabric texture as in the brushes. And then I've got these pattern brushes as well, um, which I think were are really fun and you know you can do some cool things so what i did was i was kind of playing with that that idea of that texture um and i uh like if you look here i'm just kind of starting some ideas but i put the two raffia brushes next to each other and then behind it um let's see here i'll just give you a little a little demo here um there's like this is the texture brushes from the citrus collection Subtle Texture 14, and if I grab like one of the lighter color palettes, let's look here, and you get that really nice kind of um, texture like you have on that kind of a, um, that linen kind of dress. And I think these are really, really pretty. You could add a lot of really fun textures to your, um, to your designs and kind of have that like a very, um, you know, kind of an ethnic motif, very uh, nature inspired pattern kind of design. And I think you can have a lot of fun with that. So that was just a little tip. And then also like over here, I grabbed one of the color palettes and then playing with these um, textured pattern uh, brushes, you know, you can do some really cool things, but it's kind of got that tribal motif. And I think you can have a lot of fun with these brushes. Um, and they have that texture built in. So it's got that rough feeling to it. So I think that's really fun. And I was just playing with some of the, I noticed that they have some gold on the, on the, um, motif over here. So I, I was playing over here with a little bit of the 24 karat gold brushes behind it, but I think you can have some really fun, really fun motifs and really fun ideas with that. So just wanted to highlight that brush collection. Cause I think it gets like, um, a little lost, but you can do some really fun things with it. And what else? So that is the two brushes, the color palettes. And, um, if you like the citrus collection, check my website cause it might be on a flash, a flash, uh, reduction, like a very good one. So check that out. And just as a reminder, I would love to know which brush you prefer. On the left, we have brush number two, or on the, on the left, we have brush number one, and on the right, we have brush number two. So that's it for the free brush Monday. I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of wanted to match. So I took a, a sweater that's a little raffia inspired. Well, at least the colors. But let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments, and stay tuned because I have Lots of fun things going on this week.